In this tutorial, I will explain how to use rendering parameters and the differences between data source templates and rendering parameters templates. Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the rendering parameters in Sitego. During this tutorial, we will create a rendering parameters template and we will assign it to the rendering. We will also be talking about the differences between data source templates, where we define data that we are going to display, and rendering parameters templates, where we define display options for the renderings. All the additional materials that are mentioned during this tutorial will be displayed on the screen during the video and linked in the description below. So let's log into Sitecore and create these templates. I'm going to create a rendering parameters template for the hero module. I will create a template below template PWE rendering parameters. I need to right click on the folder and select insert new template. And we need to change the base template. We use standard templates for page templates and data source templates. For rendering parameters, we use standard rendering parameters as a base template. We can find it under Templates, System, Layouts, Rendering Parameters. We need to select a location and click Close. Now I'm going to add a new section. I will call it Data and I will add one field called Display Background. It will be a checkbox. Now we can save it and configure a rendering to use this template. I will configure here one to use this template as a parameter template. Under the Editor Options section, we can find the Parameters Template field and we need to select the template that we've just created. Now we can save it and let's move to the Visual Studio for a moment. The Hero 1 is a simple view rendering and I'm going to access the value of the Display Background field directly in the view. You can do it in a controller as well. However, it is a simple example and the way you populate view models and how you access sidecore data and whether you are using glass for example all depends on the architecture of your project. I will set the background of the hero to blue if the display background checkbox is checked. Again, this is just an example to demonstrate that if display background is true it will render the text with the background blue class and if it's false it will only render the text from the else block. As you probably know, you should avoid duplicating the same code and creating if statements like this in your solution. So let's log into Sitecore and add Hero1 to the content page. I've already configured placeholder settings for the content page and a link to the video about placeholder settings is displayed on the screen and linked in the description. I'm going to click on the Add Here button and select Hero1. This module doesn't have a data source template configured as I mentioned earlier, it is a simple view rendering and I'm only going to demonstrate how to configure the rendering parameters. This is a text that we've hard-coded in the view. And if we click on this little icon here, we can edit properties for this rendering. The data section and the display background checkbox are displayed. If we now select this checkbox, the background will be blue. We can also configure standard values for rendering parameters templates this is a default configuration, so we can set display background to be true or false by default. You can find out more about standard values in my other videos. A link to this video is displayed on the screen and linked in the description below. During this tutorial, we've seen how to create rendering parameters templates, how to assign these templates to the rendering, and the easiest way to access these parameters from the view. The main difference between data source templates and rendering parameters templates is that the data source templates define the data, all the information that you want to display on the page, text, images, lists, and so on. Rendering parameters templates, on the other hand, define how to display it. You can control a background color. If you need to, you can add, remove a frame around the module, or you can control a CSS class that we can adjust from the experience editor. This is a great way of separating the data and the display options. As I mentioned during this tutorial, you can find out more about standard values and placeholder settings in my other videos. I'll put all the links on the screen 
and linked in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Piotr Wegner and I see you next time.